Seven right to activate up. Alright, there we go. I got the controls. Yep, do you got it? Yep, I got the controls. Alright, so we left off here, yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh eight is eight. Is. Morning, Tim and Mitari, this oh. information, Mike, time 13000, wind 230 at 8, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 24.22, altimeter 29 or 89. GPS runway 27 left, GPS runway 27 right, approach and use, landing and departing runway 27 left, runway 27 right. Two tower frequencies in use. All helicopters, contact tower frequency 134.6. Aircraft requesting touch and goes or 27 right. Contact tower frequency 134.6. So I got the right. Let's see. Left contact tower frequency 118.9. All fixed wing departing aircraft contact clearance for okay. frequency 133.0. Okay. Potential aircraft. Which is over. Clear left, clear right. Brute check. Our brakes are good. Your controls. All right, I got control. You get controls. And minor again. I got controls. There we go. So left wind, I'm turning into the wind. Yep. Ooh, they moved it. Yeah, I'm I think it's a, done. I'm getting a nice view of it on the video. Someone said it's a DC-6. Looks uh, like it. I don't know. Sure, looks like it. Clipper Liberty Bell. Nice. All right. So one three three. Don't hit the autopilot this time. The Miami clearance, Skyhawk nine nine four whiskey whiskey at spot two. VFR departure to the northwest. That's the nine nine four whiskey whiskey to Miami clearance. Adis Mike is current, contact ground point seven for taxi, good day. We have Mike, uh, we'll contact uh, ground point seven, have a good day for Whiskey Whiskey. All right, I keep forgetting about that. And clearance to agree, Scott, or correction, Pacifica 9020 Tango, skydive five south with... Miami Ground, Skyhawk 9904, Whiskey Whiskey, that's about two, ready to taxi. That's the 9904, Whiskey Whiskey, pavement ground, runway 27 right, taxi, V Alpha. 27 right, V Alpha for Whiskey Whiskey. Alright. Clear right, clear center, and taxiway clear. And Miami Ground, Pacifica 902, Sierra Tango, spot 14 for the active. Number 9 3 Sierra Charlie, Henry Ground, you called? Uh, Pacifica 9 0 Sierra Tango, Charlie called. November 2 Sierra Tango, contact clearance delivery 133.0. Yep, we so went on my left. Diving away. Uh, November 9 0 Sierra no, Tango, sorry. Roger, runway. Oh, no, no, we're going. Sorry. I take it back. 
I'd hope. And uh, for two Sierra Tango, we're at spot 14. November 2, Sierra Tango, roger, uh, taxi runway 27 left, taxi via Alco. 27 left via Alco, 2 Sierra Tango. Do I want to turn all the way in the way? Nah, this is fine. No, you don't want to? Alright. Okay. Run up. So, let's do control box. Left goes up. Right goes down. Elevator up. Down to ground. Uh, I can get this thing, thing out of the way. Hang out with you. One four. Alright, so we have one foster tango tamer ground. Runway 27 left taxi via Echo. 27 left via Echo. One foster tango. Where's my run up? Okay, there. So check this again, that's good. We go to 18. And ground Pacifica 902 Sierra Tango will be ready to go when we get there. Pacifica 2 Sierra Tango monitor tower 118.9. 118.9, 2 Sierra Tango. Going to the left bank. Barely a drop. Back up move. Going to right. About 50. Back up move. 28.0. Green, green, green. Green at zero. Idle. Sam Yami ground, Cessna 48810. Alpha 2 request for spot 30. And idle. Sam Yami ground, that's 28. Green, 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 green. And zero, so we're good. Yeah. Uh, you know, check was good. Instruments enunciator, check again. Yep. Here's a question if I see a L or right vac, what do I do? If you see the vacuum light up, you mean? Yeah. That means one of the vacuum pumps is failed. Right, I know. Sorry, I, I should have said that. What's the procedure? Okay. It just means that my. Attitude and heading indicator are not working properly, and uh, should well, I? Is it a required? Is it required to have those instruments working no. for VFR flight? No. I, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, okay. I don't need this. This I got the magnetic compass. Okay. So, what do you think? You would you continue the flight, or would you go? I mean, it's up to you. Well, if yeah. you continue the flight or not. You could continue, but you could land it fix it, but I mean, right. aside from that, There's do nothing. I turn off the, al I wouldn't turn off the alternator, I mean, Alter no, no, no. There's, nothing, you there's can nothing else really to do, right? Correct. It should still run on one vacuum pump. Right, it there should be two, right? Right, so that's why I have a left and an L and an R. So how do you know if both of them are gone? The L and the R lights up. Okay, so both would light up. Okay, and the vacuum independent. gauge would be at zero. Alright, good. Yep. Alright, so... This back, and we're done with before run up complete. Uh, pre takeoff, so we already said 27 right, no obstacles, we need about a thousand feet, no wake turbulence that I can see so far. Wind sock, well, looks like what I had here, about 2 3. Okay. And it was 2 3 at 8. I think it's a little bit stronger now, but yeah. Yeah, uh, probably 10 from what I see. All right, so then emergency on the ground, I idle, brake, and we get off the runway if we can. Okay. Take off below 500, we'll just set it back down on the runway or on the field, wherever, straight ahead. Okay. Above 500, we'll make a left turn. Yeah, it should still be okay for a uh, 1-3. Yeah, if not. Might be a bit more yeah. crosswind, but. Yeah, no, it's better than. Then let it back here. Well, I mean, I'd rather land on a runway than in the grass, even if there is a crosswind. Right. Plus, it's a really big field, I don't know. And uh, you're going to be PIC for those. Okay. Uh, that's that for the briefing, so... Fuel is on both, yep. Shut up, he's in. Flaps verified up. Let's do a... Soft short, short, short. field takeoff. Just a short, no soft? Correct. All right. They're not going to make you combine them, so you don't no. need to do All right, so that. short, 10, flap. 52, I rotate. Pitch from VX 60. 
above uh, 100 feet, well, my 50, but we'll use 100, flaps up, and then we climb at VY. Okay. All right, flaps elevator trim, avionics we check, cabin door, I'll close my window. I'll go ahead and then where it says flaps, go ahead and set your flaps Miami yeah. ground. for the short field. Yeah, Otherwise, three, three, nine or six. you'll forget. You might forget. All right. Yeah, so flaps, five, three, three, elevator nine, six, should be fine. Flush. Seat belt, zip. And we'll check traffic. That's it for that checklist before takeoff final item. So it's already on altitude mode. Interesting. Landing stroke. And at 6 I'll just put this forward now. And we're good with that. So 845 on the climb. Lean for the top of the green. That's all we have. And then once we reach cruise, then I'll turn off the landing line. I guess that's the only thing. Okay, good. We'll try to climb above these uh, clouds here. Maybe 15, 2500, something like that. Probably See a gap we can go through. Well, they're at like, it looks like about 700 feet, so hopefully. Pretty low. All right. Miami ground, four whiskey whiskey, run up complete. That's the four whiskey whiskey monitor tower, one three four point six. One three four point six for whiskey whiskey. Number six one four in Quebec. Your number two look for Cessna one mile final reporting site. Look at the traffic switch on for work about. What the final? Quebec, 23012, gust 18, number 25, Cessna, right, Tessa, right, there to land. Uh, land 27, right, 614, Quebec, thanks. Where's the other one? Was that him? Yeah, I think he was on down with the saw a minute ago. There he is. Okay. So we might be able to sneak out before him, I don't know. Depends on how long this guy's taking forever. Delta contact ground, one two one point seven. Have a great day. And the other one is where? Ground point seven five two five. Have a good day, you too. Thank you. Marine nine or eight four X-ray to Miami Tower. Uh, to Miami Tower uh, eight four uh, eight nine eight four X-ray. Marine nine or eight four X-ray to Tower. If you would offset to the right, please. Traffic is directly below you nine or hundred. A4X ring. So I need you to offset to the right for traffic directly below you. Offsetting to the right, A4X ring. Oh, we could have gone. Yep. Extra maintain out above 1,500 until you join the final for 27 right. Turn base run with 27 right. I will say uh, out or above uh, 1,500 uh, left base.
There's a lot of wood now. Yep. Pretty big crab. That's a 152 though, so. Miami Tower, 84 x ray. Uh, am I cleared for a final approach? That's pretty good. Number 84 x ray, join the final runway 27 right. Final 27 right, 84x3. Where's that guy at? I don't know. November 9094 with Biscuit 210 at 18 flash straight out, runway 27 right. Clear for takeoff, I'll call your turn to the northwest. 27 right, clear for takeoff, you'll call my turn, fly straight out for Whiskey Whiskey. Number 89 or 84 x ray with 21015, Gus 21, runway 27 right, clear to land. Land, eight, four, three, All right. Well, wait, two, do you want me to hold right, the brakes eight, or? Clear land, two, seven, right, eight, four, three. Yeah, I don't know where that guy is. All right, holding the brakes. Full power. And everything is on the green. Let's go. Before we come back, contact ground one, four, three, three. Our speed's alive. 52, here we go. Oh, oh that cross one yeah, I don't want to go yet. Alright. Flaps up, V1. Keep climbing, you're pitching it. Leaning for top of the green. Keep an eye on your drift, you're getting pushed a little bit. Number four, let's go to proceed northwest on, remain outside of class Bravo. Northwest, we'll stay out of Bravo for Whiskey Whiskey. Let's go right through this hole right here. On top of the clouds? Yeah, let's keep climbing up, probably 2500. What's uh, my airspace here at? 3,000? We're still at 2,005 here. 1,217. Yeah. 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 Once we leave that, it'll be into the bottom of Bravo. Do you pitch up a little bit more? Yeah. Get back up to BY. Okay, we're going
thousand. So what are we starting with? Uh, once we get out there a little further, we'll start with something. Okay. Well, you'll see we're not doing ground reference this high. Ground reference got to be a thousand. Exactly. Turn a little left so we can exit this a little faster. Oh, and you got level off at all. Can't go too much higher here. Yeah. You consider this about a thousand over? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're pretty light and wispy, so. Not too bad. There's my road. I don't know for where the box is. Those are the antennas, so it should be a little bit more, right? Yeah, you're gonna be kind of hard today to use the ground stuff as a reference. So you're kind of have to rely on your horizon, right? And no. some clouds. Yeah, I was trying to figure where I'm at. Let's go a little faster. Good job, Gus, same time information, armor's now current 21015, Gus, 23, up to minute 2988. Tango is currently four to the south inbound for landing. 90 0 2 Tango Terry Tower. Continue uh, eastbound, maintain at or above 2000 until advised. Eastbound and then at or above 2000 until advised, 2 0 Tango. Alright, we're gonna lose him. That's a lot of wind, ground speed 85. Yeah, winds are pretty strong out of the southwest still. Alright, well while we're getting out here, why don't we do a couple of clearing turns, get ready for it, and we'll end up back here on west, and then we'll start with All right. slow flight. Left looks clear. See anyone behind us? Let's go back for us. All right, so we're clear. Looks good. So we are on west. You get yourself set up for it, and whenever you're ready, you can give it a shot. Alright, so 2500 is my target. So 
110, first notch. D5, second notch. Third notch. 65, 60. Riding it. Losing low altitude, bump a little bit of power. A lot more altitude uh, yeah, power. Keep it. Probably pitch up a little bit more. Yeah, keep around 45 or so. Right, give me a right turn heading two two zero. Two two zero. Actually make it two one zero. Let's try that. And you want a right turn to it? Alright, left turn, left turn two one zero. Oh, that's much too much. There's your altitude again, so get that power out. You're way too fast now. That nose up above at the horizon. There you go. Feels that rev again. Alright, give me a uh, right turn now, heading 240. Nice and shallow. 240. And two four zero. There we go. Good. Okay, right. let's just recover back to uh, cruise. All right. Full power. First notch. We're positive. Trip down. Second notch. Very much. And uh, you want me to go back to west or? Yeah, that's, well, that's fine. Let's do a uh, power off stall next so we can start getting ready for that. Alright, let's do another clearing turn. Take your power back. Alright, red is clear. Are you going to want the west or do we go you, towards the south? I'm just telling you to do a power off stall. You pick. All right. That's what he's not going to. He usually doesn't tell you where to go. Um. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it that way. I want to go north if I were you. Uh huh? What did you say? If you go north, you're going to get a pretty good tailwind. That's fine. Whatever. No. That's a good point. Or you go really far north. I was just thinking more about if something happens and I need to land on the road. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I just stay on west. You're good. Huh? Just stay on west. You're fine. Alright. Alright, 2500. Get set up. Alright, so 2500. One west. And power off stall, so let's get back into landing configuration. Your checks first, let's get that mixture in. I turned the landing light off, I don't think you yeah. got to your Forgot cruise to do checks. the cruise check. Alright, on west, we did the gumps. All the way down to 16, 17. 
more keep 25 there's not remember as you're slowing down as you add flaps so that'll help you maintain the altitude right now oh, you're already too slow remember we got a descent still uh, yeah recover yeah i'm recovering no back to cruise too slow Our target airspeed is about 60, 65 yeah. knots, so we gotta get, I know I see We gotta get everything set up by the time we get there. Which means just pull the power back, put on one notch flap, pull it down below 85, second, and then third. We're on the west, 25. Pull the power. First notch. There you go. 85 second notch. Third notch. Okay, there's 65, so set your descent. Try not to climb. But now we're descending. Alright, so we're in the descent. Now I'm going to stall the plane. Okay. So, I pull back. Remember, it's a power off stall. Slap right away. That nose up. I want to climb. I'm Remember, you're close to the ground, right? You gotta get that climb started right away. Alright, level off to 25 again. Let's turn back to the east. Let's try that again. Left is clear. Just raise the wing a little bit, you don't have to be so aggressive with it. Get your, you get yourself uncoordinated. Oh, don't let that balloon you up. Good, hold it there. Alright, second. Press forward and third. Alright, there's 65. Let the nose come down. Alright, so we're descending. I pulled the power out. Okay, pitch, pitch up. up. First one, we gotta get that yeah, off right away. I only did one. I know, but yep. you're still too slow on that. You're worried about the trip so much. 
Now once you got a positive rate again, we can get that second one off. Keep climbing up. Alright, now we're going up towards VY. Last one off. There you go. That was better. Alright, 2500. Let's turn down to the bed and all south, I guess. Now let's try a power on still. Uh, clear right. Don't forget to level up. Yeah, that one was better. Just with the power off stall, really with all this stuff, the quicker you get set up for it, the easier it is. Yeah. Because when you first start, you're so, you're worried about the trim and all this stuff, but really add the flat. The flat will trim it for you. It'll give you that lift that you're trying to get. Yeah, that's true. I gotta remember that. Alright, left side looks clear. See anyone on the right? Nope, looks good. Alright, Pymar on stall. So, we're gonna bring it 60, and then pretend we're taking off some full power, and then I'm pitching up and really applying rudder this time. Yeah. All right, so gums on both, fuel shut off in, make sure you're in, problem, all right. Let's get back down a little bit too. So, airspeed's slowing down. Seventy, sixty-five, sixty. 65, 60, all right, so we have power. All right, pitching up. All right. And climb back up. Good. Alright, 2500 level off. Let's turn back to the west again. Let's try that one more time. What I want to do now is add that little bit of a bank to the right into that stall. That one, the ending, how was that? Was that well, let's turn the west coordinated or? Or? Far away. No, it was, it was coordinated. We dropped a little bit. Sometimes I mean, you're not going to be exactly yeah. perfect with it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was me that did it on purpose or? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the ball was slightly off. Causing one wing to drop just a little bit. I mean, when I look, the wing, one other wing was starting to drop. The ball seemed pretty centered, though. I, I'm like, what's going on? Do I need a? Let's get a feel for it, that's all. Yeah, all right. So you said you want to turn while we're doing this? Yeah, so as we're pitching up, we're just going to do about a, you know, maybe at most five degrees of a bank just to the right. While I'm pitching up. Correct. It'll be a right turning. Stall. Isn't that okay? Uh, I trust you. To me, it seems like we're gonna go into a spin. You just wanted to do it the other day. <laughs> You're like, I watch videos where they did turning but, stalls. No, I didn't watch it. I was reading about it. Uh, like, why I would we go to do that? Why? What? No, you How do we enter a spin? Or coordinated. Okay, so can you do a coordinated so, turn? Yeah. Okay, then we want to enter a spin. All right. This is gonna be fun. All right, so power back. Jumps is done. Aiming for that middle cloud. All right, we're 65. 
taxi. Right, let's go. Just, just a little bit more bank, a little more rudder, a lot more rudder. You have no rudder in. There you go. Yeah, just like that. Just keep pitching up now. Pitch up. Huh. There you go. Not too bad. Oh. Could have pitched up a little bit quicker. That would have happened. Okay. Quicker, but other than that, that was fine. Probably be worse than that, but no. If you if you're not coordinated, it would be. Right. You stayed fairly coordinated throughout that. Remember when it stalls, I'll just bring it back to the horizon or so. Try not to nose it down quite as much. Okay. All right. Steep turns. Back up north, uh, east, I mean, and I'll get back to 2500. American 669, Quebec. This is Miami Center on guard. If you're in so, Miami Center, change to my frequency 126.32. This one you told me to do it at 2000 RPM, right? Yeah, 2000 usually works out pretty well. That'll keep you within. But the critical part is to be below VA. You should be, yes. Right. Okay. So we're below gumps, just make sure. So here we go, let's do to the right, 2500. That now is a little bit high. And okay, coming back on east, roll out, goes down a bit. All right, and we're still 25. Try on the left now. Try not. You put, got that nose up pretty high at the beginning there. Oh, I did. Which causes it to get slow and gain 100 feet. Oh. So don't pull as much. Oh, oh, as well, you're tripping like four times. Just if you want to trim, just do a couple. Okay. And get it set where you want it. All right. Not to over trim it. All right. So to the left this time. Yep. Clear left. So about the middle of the cowling should be cut through the right. 30 degrees. We're gonna start pitching up. 45. There you go, it's better. Watch your bank. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm uh, feeling the G's. And we're back on knees. Roll back out. Aside from getting a little steeper, that was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, turn back to the e uh, west. Give me a right turn to the west. We'll do some unusual attitudes. Right is clear. Looks clear. All right. Want to take over? Yeah, I got control. You got control. You put on. What happened to this? Whatever. That does. That does this work again? It is stretching. Alright, so unusual, so I'm looking down. Oh, for now, let's just get you used to flying on the hood again for oh, a second. Okay. So just maintain a 270, 2500 feet, you got control. My controls. And you said 2500, and you want to maintain just the heading? Yep. Gotta get your scan moving around a little bit. Uh, we're on the west. 
let's adjust this a little bit. Alright, give me a left turn heading 210. 210. Miami Case, American 1342, we're on the ground for a D5 today. I'm try to just do standard rate, so 15 degrees of bank. Yeah. Alright, why don't we, before we do the initial attitudes, why don't you go ahead and set up uh, Nav 1 or what, Nav 2, whatever, the Dolphin VOR, and figure out what radial you are currently on from the VOR. I don't want to clump too much. Hope I got the right side. Nope. Sure, heading back 210. Just a little bit here, banking too much again. Seems to be holding. And no VRs were one thirteen point nine. Need a bit more altitude holding the heading. Alright, so then I wanna. Where's the nav? Alright, it's the COM 3 on the right side. Advisory 101, valid until 1515 Zulu. From 70 nautical miles, east of Orlando, to 55 nautical miles, west southwest of Treasure Vortex, area of Thunderstorm. Alright, that's and the right one. Towers, 20 nautical miles wide. With moderate to heavy precipitation, moving from 25... Alright, I want my heading back. And you want to know where we're from, right? Yeah, what radio we're on from it. Yeah, there you go. So, oh, that was from... Well, think about it logically, where is it? I know it should be... Why am I not seeing it here? Oh, we're getting flying again. Stop, get flying again. Gotta get your heading back. Are we east or west of the VOR? We should be east. Or east of Miami? Oh, we were I east. Hope, I hope not. I don't see any water back uh, No, me. not east, but we're west. We're heading east to the VOR. Oh, we're heading southwest currently. 210 to southwest. Okay, so okay. we should be south west of the VOR. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So we'll put it towards the southwest numbers and then go slow with it until it centers. So I guess a bit more south. Just um, keep twisting. Only centers on two numbers, so keep twisting until the needle goes in the middle. Oop, there it goes. I'll go back a little bit. There it is. Now it's centered, right? About 260. Okay, so turn right and follow that course, the 260 radial. Which makes sense, because again, you can use the GPSs too. Where's Miami? Right okay, there. Well, yeah. actually, there's Dolphin right there. So, yeah, we're not quite west of it, just barely southwest of it.
those eyes moving, give yourself a little bit of pitch up to get that altitude back. There you go. Alright, so the needle's now it's starting to move a little bit to the left, right? Yeah, so I need to go to five. Yeah, remember we got that really strong crosswind, right? Oh, that's true. So we're going to have somewhat of a crab to the left to keep that. Well, maybe two forward to re-intercept? Yeah, probably, yeah. There you go, stop there. Don't just keep turning. Just go on and then see what happens. 10 degrees, there's 230. Maintain that. And then watch your needle. If it keeps moving, then turn another turn. If it starts going right. back, then you know you put a good correction. But you want to segment your corrections. Looks like it's kind of slowly moving yeah. back in. So you're good there. Don't turn too much more. So now you're almost 50 degrees. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yep. I let go of my uh, heading. And now it's even starting to center. So now go back. Try. Let's try 240. Let's see if that holds it centered. We know we can't go back to 260 because then we'll just get off course again. It, right, exactly. Too much crosswind for that. Right. All right, 240. Roll out. And try getting have a use of that. If you can put that there, that way you remind yourself, hey, I'm supposed to be at 240. Right. So if you look down and you're not in there, you can. So get back we seem to be centered. Yes. Now you'd fly this for a couple, you know, mile or two and see if that stays centered or if it moves off a little bit. Right. Which it's probably gonna move just slightly to the right. So maybe let's turn another 10 degrees right, maybe. But more or less, you get the. You get the idea. Interested if you want to know a shortcut, see this track here? That's your wind correction. That says 260 and it'll stay centered. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 256. No, 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 you don't go to this. That's what you're currently tracking across oh, the ground. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. Yeah, so right now, if we fly 240 heading, we're getting 260, 260 across you know the ground. you're on the right. Oh, okay, I see yep. what you're saying. So we're good. That'll keep the needle centered. If I wanted to go back towards the VOR, how would I do that? So now we're from, so we'd want to go 180 from that, so it would be about 60. Well, not, well, leave it, because 180 from this, right? So it would be about a 080, not from your wood correction. That would be your radial you want to go to, right? Oh, true. So it was 260, so whatever 260 is, was it 100, I think? Let's look here. 260? 080. Flip it. Right there. Zero eight. Zero nine. Go back one. Right there. Now it'll set up. It'll set up the same number, right? 180 degrees of where we just were. Right. Now you can make your right turn and turn back and track in that one. But we don't have to do that. I just want you to twist it around. That's all. Okay. Okay. So let's do some usual attitudes. I'll take control now. You can go ahead and look down at your lap. And I'll tell you when to look up. When you look up, just look at the instruments and yep. bring the airplane back to normal. Cruise flight. Feels like a lazy eight. And recover. All right, it's beating up, so relax. Yeah. The wings. Yeah. Right, let's be a little oh. quicker with that. <laughs> Crap. Way too slow. And you gotta get that power to idle. Idle. I thought it was just a... Uh, power your nose down right down there. It's gotta be quick, I'm right? I'm glad I didn't have breakfast. Power now. idle. Oh, Wings crap. level. Shh. Nose up. Boom, boom, boom. Remember, you're about to spin into the ground. All right, let's try it again. Uh. And 
down below us there. Go back around to the north. A foul. Ah, that's good. And recover. Get that power back leveled off again. I was going to bring it back to uh, 25, but yeah. Okay, well then climb if you want to do that, because you're getting over uh, the red line. That's fine, there. I'll level up here then. Jump a little bit. There you go. Okay, I'll take control again. Try one get more. control. level and the nose up then now you can can you take control for a sec sure i need air i'm about to all right we'll, we'll stop uh we're gonna have to do about three or four of a prior check rides so keep right. that in mind yep and he's usually a little I just need air i'm sorry real hot ridiculous that i am with him all right let's do one more well, we're good for now. We can stop. We'll do more. Really? Yep. Yeah. I don't want yeah. you to throw up in your plane. No, I feel like I listen. I don't feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh. I feel like I'm hot. Oh, okay. All right. Well, if you're like ready, I'm we'll do it. I'm getting sweaty. Okay. All right. So look down, and I'll tell you when to look up. Recover. There you go. Much better. That's what you want. Power comes right out. Wings come level. Nose comes up. And then the power comes back in once the airspeed is under control. Good. All right. I got control. You can take off the you hood. Control. Down here a Throw it bit. behind or? Yeah, let's put it back there somewhere. Alright, so if I did it right. Too much power pulled back and then I look at this. Yep. If it's too, uh, not enough power, then I go on uh, this one. No, I, I always go airspeed and then turn coordinate. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, yeah, you want to get the nose down if you're no, if you're at decreasing airspeed, but you want to check that turn corner to make sure you know which way you're turning. The reason I don't like to look at the attitude indicator, it's the first one to fail. If you really get to a big and usual attitude, it'll tumble, and then you're going to have erroneous readings. It'll just be spinning. That's why the turn corner is much more useful. Right. Okay. Makes sense? Yep. Good. You got control again. I'm just bringing us down to 1,000. Okay. Give me a... Uh, S turn and a turn around a point, and then we'll head back. Okay, so we said the wind was southwest, right? Yes. It seemed to be like a 240 or so when we were doing slow flight. Maybe 23 or I don't know, somewhere around there. This is saying about west. Alright, so we want to go downwind, so let's make a left turn. Clear on the left. Is 
that Shark Valley there, or we're close to Shark, right? Uh, we're just the west or east of Shark, yeah. So my point being, we could do back towards the east. Yeah, it's fine. Get closer. But I gotta do. I don't wanna do both. So pick out where you wanna do your turnaround point. That's probably the harder one to pick a spot for. Yeah, that's right. Let's go left and then come back if we have to do both sides. Well, why don't you just do a turnaround point right over there? That's where. Oh, we're I thought you said you wanna do uh, S turn right now. I wanna do both. All right. But that's your turnaround point. Yeah, point, that's right? why I was gonna go left and oh, okay. right, and then do the turnaround the point after. Whatever you want. All right, let's do that. Looks like the winds are about, based on our ground speed, 210 is when it was the lowest. Alright, so... Wow, that wind really pushes you. Wow. This is going to be fun today. Alright. So, 1,000 feet. I'll go back up a little bit. So I'm going to turn steeper on this side since I'm going bay. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're coming up on the road. And let's turn. And then we'll shadow out medium to shadow. Coming up over the road, and we're going to shallow up to the other side. going into a more medium turn as we get to the top. Now going into a steeper turn as we go down the wind. Shallow now. Yeah, now this one get a little bit shallower than you did last time. Very good looking in front of you every once in a while.
Yeah, even a little bit more shell. You're still getting a little bit. You're getting to south a little bit too quickly. Okay. But now we're over the road. All right, go ahead. And let's angle out and let's do another one, but the other way. Yeah. Did everything right except for that last turn right there on both of them. You just kept it a little bit too steep, too long, and you got the south, and you weren't at your road yet. But the turns on this side of the road were good for the one turn. Just really tighten it up here and get yourself lined up. Here's north, 1,000 feet, and I'll do it to the right. Starting your turn a little bit early. Yeah, I guess so, huh? There you go, now you're getting blown out, good. Now keep it turning to this portion. This is still what about a medium or so, but once we get going back to the south here, that's when you want to get that and start to shallow it out. About here, I should start shallowing out a lot more. Uh, yeah. Keep turning, though. I'll go wings level. Just about maybe five degrees of bank or so. Now we're coming up on the road and yeah, we're about, about south, maybe 10 degrees short, not too bad. Now just keep that same about 5 degrees of bank in on this portion and then start to steepen it up as we start turning towards east. Keep turning a little bit more. So what you're doing is you go in and then you go wings level. And then you go in and you go as wings level. Just try to keep it constant as best you can. This one's gonna get a little messed up because the road shifts a little bit, but that's yeah. Okay. Well, if we use the canal, the road on the other side of the canal, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Okay, there's north and right in the next one. Keep it about medium now. I'm gonna get the airplane going back into the wind again. Now you're probably going to about maybe 15 degrees of bank. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, keep turning a little bit more. There you go. I felt the skid on that one, that was interesting. Keep turning, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't give up yet. I want it south of the road. Uh, a little short again. Not too bad though. Alright, let's go do turns around a point. Are you gonna do both? Left, right on this? No, this is left, huh? 
Oh, I was gonna practice the right. Or whatever you want, right side. Right's usually the harder one, right? Uh, yeah, because you gotta look over the seat. So we said about the bridge was my point. Alright. Looks like about bridge yet. Alright, so I want a thousand though. Here we go. I'll keep an eye on your path and get there. Okay, good. Pretty much over the path. Now I'll transition to the east, or I'm sorry, the west side of the houses. Keep turning, because now you got a cross one, right? Because that one's kind of out of 210. Not perfectly south, because now we're getting kind of farther out. Right. The turn from here to the bushes, that's going to be your shallowest turn. Don't forget just to glance ahead every time, make sure no one's coming in. I got pretty much a direct headwinds. <clears throat> pretty shallow bank, good. Up on our bushes, pretty close. Still kind of got a crab into the wind, so that's fine. go good now it's starting to go towards the medium and steepens up as we get closer to the bridge it's steep going through the path medium or so. And background house. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back. We're gonna cross one landing.
terrain located point one six miles north of the Miami Airport, one hundred feet above ground level. Yeah. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Oscar. Miami confirmation Oscar one three five three to the weather wind two one zero one five gust two three is thirty one zero one thousand seven hundred scattered temperature two six that one was fine so two one zero at fifteen knots fifteen gusts at twenty three right let's go we're pumping up to like maybe twenty two hundred RPM or so yep. One more Fox shot, hang up to right, echo two, contact ground one, two, one point seven, get it. Contact the ground, have a nice day. One, Fox down. Citation eight, nine and nine, and Bravo teammates, are you able to make it through the run up area? No. How many have to move for you, sir? Uh, the one seventy two that's in the middle. I, if you move him, we can get through. Number 6428 Delta, winds 210 at 20, zero, zero, Miami Tower, slash JR27 left, take off, all clear, turn to the southwest. Alright, uh, 27 left, take off, 6428 Delta, southwest. And number 899 at Bravo, you'll be next. We're doing what? Full stop. Full stop. Okay. ADF-174, extend down, and I'll call your base. Stand down, Wendy, at 174. The Miami Tower, Skyhawk 994, Whiskey Whiskey is uh, one zero miles of northwest of the airport with information Oscar and bound full stop. Number 994, Whiskey Whiskey, the Miami Tower, Ident. Ident, 994, Whiskey Whiskey. Morning, Tammy, Amy, 613 Golf Office with you, runway 27 left. Number 613 Golf Office, Tammy Tower, runway 27 left, continue, I will call your base for one departure. Alright, just stay out here on the uh, dog leg. Number 4, Whiskey Whiskey, then it's observed, then to right down, runway 27 right. 27 right, right down the wind, 4 Whiskey Whiskey. Alright. I'm not gonna need this anymore. Number three, go off. Are you on the down one? I was on a dog leg. I'm about a 150 heading right now. Number three, go off. Join the final on the way. Two seven left. Join the final now for two seven left. Three go off. Citation eight nine nine at Bravo Tower. Two two zero at two zero. Fly runway heading. Fly two seven zero at two seven left. Over takeoff. Oh, it's on. Okay, that was a two seven eight heading, and we're clear to go eight nine Bravo. Somewhere. I thought you Number put that away. Number 613 Golf Alpha, 200 no. at 21 or 27. Slow descent, landing lights on. Slow descent. Number 6428 Delta, proceed southwest. Field selector. Okay, southwest, Delta. Both. Shut off is in. Uh, mixture in, right? 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 Avionics is set. We'll check the compass again. So it's about 140. Belt seats. You got your seat belts, I assume you didn't take it off yet, so. That's good. What kind of uh, landing do we do? Crosswind. November 2A Delta, proceed southwest bound, please. On a nice crosswind landing, nose straight down the runway on the center line. I'm going to have to turn a little more to the right to get on down one though. Boyne's blowing you north. Only 9 on broad traffic, get into your left, one and a half miles southwest, bound south to 1,600. That was not an alarm call, was it? Over 9 and 9 on broad, did you copy? I'm sorry, say again for 9 on broad. Traffic ahead into your left, so one mile southwest, bound to 1,600. 9 on broad, 9 on broad. Number 99 at Bravo, can't take my departure 25.5, have a good flight. 25.5 with the 8 number. 
Number 2 8 Delta, frequency changes approved, have a good flight. Okay, frequency changes approved, good day, 2 8 Delta. ADF 145, 2 turn base, runway T7 left, clear to land. Turn base, That's your street over there. What's that? This is 88th Street. Right. Oh. You gotta go to the school first. Thought it was 104. That's a new neighborhood. Okay, three golf off. Yep. Turn right, catch it, ground one to one point seven good day. Number one zero four three. Oh, the farm going to go away. One zero yeah, at two zero. Got two four. One thousand left turn stop. Let's pay more money on houses. Yeah. Clear for takeoff runway two seven land for three x three. enough to stay on the street basically. Alright, so a beam. Reduce power. First notch. Below 110. Keep that nose coming down. Now, since there's so much wind, do I really need to put more than one flap? I would do two. Yeah? Yeah. But not three. Number four, did actually proceed southwest? Southwest, We're going to turn more so that we can counteract the wind. Just a little bit. Watch your track. Yeah. Yeah, I'm noticing. Winds two, I don't two, need as zero, much as I thought. One zero, yeah, these winds are two six. one zero, so now it's mostly a headwind, just a very slight crosswind. And you can proceed southwest now. Southwest, five five seven. ADF one four five. Turn right. Can't take on one two point seven. One two one point seven. ADF one four five. Number six one two zero. Mike Tanny. Tire clear for immediate takeoff. One two three zero at two zero. Gust two four at two seven. Left clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Runway two seven left. Six one two zero. Mike.
Jeez. Get that power, I'll get down. Look, 4 3 x pretty high. Roger, thank you for training for you. that rudder in so you line it up. Keep the other ones into the wind. Yeah, not too bad. A little more other on, but not too bad. November 4 with whiskey. Turn left off of one and contact ground one two one point seven good day. Off of one. Ground point seven four with whiskey. That's my correction. As soon as he lands. All the way. Oh, all arrow the way. five five seven arrow ahead of you two miles, two thousand miles to southwestern. Frequency change of previous flight. I have the airplane first. Whiskey, whiskey, team Miami ground, taxi V Alpha, good day. Yeah, Alpha, have a good day for whiskey, whiskey. Clear right, clear center, clear left. That when it's a anytime it's a cross one, just keep adjusting the air on. ADF one seven four. They keep you on the center. Uh, if you move, you put more in. Two, seven, left, if you put more in, take it out. But it's constant moving back and forth. And then get that rudder in to keep the nose lined up, which you did a good job of. <clears throat> as soon as you touch down, though, yeah, all the way into the winds. Yep. Oh, ADF all the way. one seven yes. four to Miami ground taxi V echo. Good day. That's now your taxi, taxi echo, right? Two, five, one, three. So now you got to put a cross one correction for the for the rollout. A lot of people forget that because they're <coughs> happy that they landed or they're worried about getting off the runway or whatever. They forget to right. put any crosswind in. Yeah, I can see how that happens, down. yeah. Very easy to forget. Come on. Let's go a little bit faster. We're only going nine knots. How should I taxi with the examiner? Just like this. Oh really? Thought it was always uh with him. It was a slow, uh, a walk essentially. Good morning, Charlie this on the ground. About Charlie a light jog, I would say. Tango Oscar Yankee. Charlie 16, Oscar Yankee, Team Miami Ground. Good morning. Runway 27 left, taxi via Echo. 27 left via Echo. Charlie 6, Tango Oscar Yankee. Cessna 453 is at 
Charlie 16, Alaska Yankee, just advise when ready for departure, please. Thank you, Yankee, we'll advise when we're ready for departure. Miami ground, 1302, uniform spot 17, ready for taxi with information, Oscar. Session 1302, uniform to Miami ground, runway 27 left, taxi via echo. Runway 27 left, taxi via echo, 1302, uniform. Shut down procedure, parking brake, avionics. Wherever you are in the world, share your aviation. Share aviation. A network for pilots, by pilots. <laughs>